Okay, everybody, this is Steve. I did find a way to turn the CVC, CW, CVT tool into the old uh, Bluetooth uh, soap on a rope. So there's no instructions on this, of course, uh, but here's the way to do it. Uh, you still have some limited functionality, but at least it gives you a little bit more than what you got right now. So you go to the address, the 192.168.142.1. You got to take off the S, so it's only HTTP. And when you do that, you actually get into the settings of the tool. Uh, it's not secure. There's no password or anything here, so that's a little downside, but hey, whatever. You go down here to Diagnostics. Scroll the way all down on the bottom, and you get this BTCVT mode support. Come to disabled, enable that, save it, and then you can go over to your device. Sorry, you can't see this, but you just hit that B button and hold it down, and you get BTCVT mode. And then you hit that B button again, it puts it in that mode. Again, you're looking for BTCVT. And once it's in that mode, you can come down here and bring in the device, add the device. I've already added it. So it brings it in as a BTCVT. It's this one. It's this one right here. Okay. So it brings in the device for you, and then once that brings in, you want to go to Device Manager and look at your ports. And for me, it brought in port 6 and port 8. I already had 4 and 5 on here. That's my original BTCVT. So it brought in port 6 and 8 whenever I brought that in again as a BTCVT. It's completely separate than the um, BLE function of this thing. So whenever you do that and I'm hooked up, I can go and commission Bluetooth. Mine is on 8. Yours is going to be different. And I can commission into controllers. Now the downside is... Uh, anything other than 10.2, you're not going to be able to download two controllers. But you can at least commission into these guys. So here's the controllers on my trunk. Uh, I'm just going to commission into one of them just to show you that I could do it. So you hit that. We're commissioning. There it is. So I am commissioned into this 100% Bluetooth, right? And I, I can override override 100%. And the overrides work. Everything works. But the downside to this is when I go, if I need to, to, to make some changes in here, I go to transfer to device, I can't transfer to device. Now, this is a CCT issue. It's not um, that tool. So if, if Johnson releases a new version of CCT that allows the Bluetooth to work again, then we would be able to Bluetooth download to the, the controller. I uh, hope that everybody learned something off of this video. Thanks for watching.